Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate St. Camillus, patron of hospitals, of the sick, of nurses, and of all those who are taking care of the sick. And so in this Eucharist, through his powerful intercession, let us entrust to him our health, our well-being, especially those who are sick right now and those who are taking care of the sick. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who adorned the priest Saint Camillus with the singular grace of charity towards the sick, pour out upon us by his merits a spirit of love for you, so that serving you in our neighbor, 
we may at the hour of our death pass safely over to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses was tending the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. Leading the flock across the desert, he came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There an angel of the Lord appeared to him in fire, flaming out of a bush. As he looked on, he was surprised to see that the bush, though on fire, was not consumed. So Moses decided, I must go over to look at this remarkable sight and see why the bush is not burned. When the Lord saw him coming over to look at it more closely, God called out to him from the bush, Moses, Moses, he answered, Here I am, God said, Come no nearer, remove the sandals from your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. I am the God of your father, he continued, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. The cry of the children of Israel has reached me, and I have truly noted that the Egyptians are oppressing them. Come now, I will send you to Pharaoh to lead my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and lead the children of Israel out of Egypt? He answered, I will be with you, and this shall be your proof that it is I who have sent you. When you bring my people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this very mountain. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord secures justice and the rights of all the oppressed. He has made known His ways to Moses and His deeds to the children of Israel. The Lord is kind and merciful. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son. 
and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal Him. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. <clears throat> Moses, at the beginning of his mission, felt that he was incapable. Moses felt that he was not enough, that he can do nothing. Ang pakiramdam ni Moises sa simula ng kanyang mission ay kulang siya. Hindi niya kaya. But God, in order to assure him that he will be with him, met him at the Mount of Horeb, a place of worship, a place of encounter with God. My dear brothers and sisters, Whenever we feel that we are not enough, whenever we feel that we cannot do anything, then we must meet God in worship. Only by worshiping God can we be assured that God will always be with us. That is why in the story in our first reading, God met Moses in Horeb and there he saw the burning bush. And when God told Moses that I will send you to Pharaoh and the Egyptians, Moses asked, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and lead Israel out of Egypt? I am just an ordinary shepherd. What can I do against a Pharaoh, against Egypt? And God assured him, I will be with you, and you will bring my people out of Egypt. And when you go out of Egypt, you will worship God on this very mountain. My dear brothers and sisters, when we feel that we are incapable, when we feel that we are not enough, go to your Mount of Horeb and there meet God in worship. Kapag tayo po ay pinanghihinaan ng loob, kapag tayo po ay pakiramdam na kulang na ang ating mga sarili at ang ating mga ginagawa, worship God. At doon makikita natin ng Diyos. At ang Diyos ay sisiguraduhin tayo na siya ay kasama natin. This is also what Jesus did in our gospel reading today. Jesus praised God. Jesus praised the Father. He said, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. And because Jesus praised the Father, He was assured, He said, that the Father knows the Son, and the Son knows the Father. That is the assurance given to us whenever we worship God. Today is the feast day of St. Camillus, the patron of hospitals, of nurses, and of the sick. St. Camillus himself established many hospitals, and until now, his congregation, the Camillians, are still taking care of the sick in many hospitals all around the world. Natutuwa po ako sapagkat marami po dito sa ating bansa ang mga ospital na mayroong mga chapels. In fact, 
yung kanilang mga nurses, yung mga doktor sa mga ospital po natin, ay madalas po na nagre-request ng mga misa sa atin, humihingi ng dasal. Sa tingin ko po, ay wag na wag nating aalisin yan ang mga kapilya sa loob ng mga ospital. Dahil yan ang point of worship, point of encounter ng ating mga healthcare workers. Kagaya ni Moises, noong nanghihina na siya at pakiramdam niya, hindi na niya kaya sa pagdarasal, sa pagsamba sa Diyos, doon muli nanunumbalik ang kanyang lakas. This morning, my dear brothers and sisters, I know many of you are going to work. Many of you are starting your day. Marami sa inyo ang may gagawin ngayong buong araw na ito. And every morning, you tune in at our 7.30 a.m. Mass. This is your Mount of Horeb. This is where you encounter God. And every morning, as you encounter God in this Mass, you worship God. And in this worship, God is telling you, like what He told Moses, I will be with you today. And in every place that you will go, I will be with you. As long as you worship me, I will be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue our worship of God in this celebration of the Mass, let this Mass be our encounter with God, our own Mount of Horeb, the burning bush where God revealed Himself to Moses. Whenever you feel weak, whenever you feel sick, whenever you feel that you are already incapable, go to God, worship Him, and there He will meet you and tell you, I will be with you. Amen. Please stand. The Father reveals the mysteries of the kingdom to the little ones. Let us pray to our God who shows such love for small and simple people. We bring all our needs before our Heavenly Father, confident of His loving care. For every petition, let us say, Heavenly Father, bless your children. Heavenly Father, bless your children. That the Church may give preferential option for the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, bless your, your children. children. That government leaders may listen to the needs and cries of the humblest citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, bless your children. That children may get to know God by our teachings and examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, bless your children. That the sick may find comfort and healing in the care and concern of those who nurse them. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, bless your children. That all those who have died may enjoy the everlasting happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, bless your children. Lord Jesus Christ, make us wise with your wisdom and help us follow you in the humble way you have shown us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may, by the example of Blessed Camillus, be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. As we face our Lord Jesus Christ in the sacrament of His body and blood, let this become our point of worship and encounter with Him so that all of us, especially those who are sick, those who are taking care of the sick right now, might be given strength and the assurance of God that He will be with us. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please 
stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Camillus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of Blessed Camillus, who honored you with tireless devotion and by surpassing charity was of service to your people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank you for joining us in this celebration and our special prayers today are offered especially for those who are working at our hospitals, for all those who are sick right now and are confined in hospitals, and we also pray for our chameleon uh, brothers who are members of their congregation who are until now taking care of the sick in our hospitals. And tonight, uh, our Wednesday evening habit of praying the Healing Rosary for the World at 9 p.m. We will be led by the community of the Minor Basilica of San Sebastian. And uh, we will be praying the Holy Rosary in front of the canonically crowned image, the oldest image of Our Lady of Mount Carmel here in the country that is enshrined in San Sebastian Church. And so we thank our Augustinian Recollect uh, fathers, brothers, who are leading the holy, the praying of the Holy Rosary together at night, 9 p.m. tonight, in front of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.